This is a tutorial on how to create a Honk character in 3 minutes and 30 seconds, including how to set it up in OBS. The clock starts now. Let's go. First, download Honk, and then extract all the files from the zip. Inside of the zip, you'll see the Honk executable. Inside of the Characters folder, double-click Create New Character, and then rename the folder whatever you would like your character to be named. Inside of here is an images folder. This is where you'll put all of the images for your VTuber character. Let's open up Photoshop. For this VTuber character here, we've drawn the character making different shapes with their mouth for speech, and we've also drawn the eyes open and closed for blinking. If we select all of the layers, right click, export as PNG, we'll be able to export each of these layers as separate files. Let's put that in the images folder inside of the honk folder for our character. That character, by the way, was made by that Kalish. Their work can be found in the link down below. Let's open up Honk, and then in the top left, you'll see my new character. That's the folder that we made earlier. And it's nothing. That's fine, though. Let's zoom out and click the plus button in the top and start adding some layers. We'll add the silent layer, and then we'll add the eyes open. And bam, we're almost there. The eyes, let's go ahead and set those to layer 1. That'll make sure that they're always on top and never behind that base layer. Click on the image icon for the base layer and look at all of these speech slots. These are what we'll assign each of our talking images to. So you can see each of the different sounds that Honk can detect, and we're just going to assign an image to each of these. We didn't draw a mouth shape for all of these, just for about half of them, and then we're going to just kind of guess for the rest. In the top right of the speech sound window, you can see a little reference image on about the shape that you need for the mouth for that sound. If you want to, you can just use all of these, and you'll kind of have an idea of what you need to draw for your character. And let's just finish kind of deciding where each of these go, and we're good. That's it. Now, that layer's good to talk. Now let's set up our eyes to blink. Same thing, but instead of the speech sprites, we'll just assign the blink image. And that's it. If we pull this up here, our character will bounce while we talk. The only thing left to do is to set up our character for use in video calls or for streaming. To do this, we'll use OBS. First, let's change our background to green, since our character has a lot of black and it'll be easier to green screen out. Let's bring over OBS. I'm going to go ahead and make my honk window smaller and put it on my second monitor. I've already made an example window here, so you can see we're already working, but I'm going to show you how to create this. Let's go ahead and turn off that layer, add a new video source, game capture, I'm going to call this Honk2. We're going to select Capture Specific Window. And for the window, we're going to select Honk. And we don't want to capture our cursor. OK. All right, so you can see that we have a video source here moving around. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the corner. Now we're going to right-click on the video source, Filters. And then inside of the Filters pane, we'll click the plus button to add a filter, Color Key. This will be like a green screen. We're going to make sure that we have green selected, and then mess with the similarity until that green screen edge mostly goes away. And look at that. We're good to go. If you want to make yourself a little talking VTuber character, it's as easy as drawing your character with a few extra mouths, importing them into Honk, and bam, you're good.